Carvalho leading the charge here at Strada Alpina. With Seneca's Yume Tanaka hot on their heels and has been for the last eight laps. Could this be the race where she makes Grid World Series history? Valentin Manzi, a one-man army in the midfield, trying to gain ground but being blocked by North Point. I can't get through. Tell them to defend. I woke up in a great mood that day. The weather was perfect. The team was finally getting noticed. Number 22 defends their position. Night 122. Keep pushing. Seneca has been on a magic carpet ride this year. You may turn our canal. Cavalio in her sights. Poised for the overtake. She commits. Raven West forgets. It is easier to chase than it is to lead. And she's through. This proves beyond doubt that Raven West can be challenged and will be challenged. Yume was definitely on form, but there were a lot of laps to go. My focus was the same as always. Just close the gap, whatever it takes. Laura, get the position back. I'll try. Leave it to me. I won't let her pass. It's McCain versus Tanaka, an unbelievable race for Seneca. Pressure. <laughs> no, no, screw that. Look. If these idiots can't keep their cars on the track, it's their problem. Tanaka spots a gap. It's all or nothing. McCain doesn't like it. Contact. Tanaka spins out. North Point have nowhere to go. This is a huge incident. Tanaka into the wall. Manzi sideways on the grass. Seneca number 21 out. Number 22 damage. Debris littering the track. This is unbelievable. So, you don't take any responsibility for what happened? Hell no. Hi everyone, and welcome to our first experience on Grid Legends. We're just about to take control, and we're going to actually be on the controller for this first experience, but I will be switching over on the steering wheel at some point in this video. So, so we've sustained some damage, but uh, we're not going to come in. We're going to try and do our best. Let's just quickly flick through the camera views. And, oh, yeah, this game looks awesome. Right. Let's see what we can do. Now, I haven't adjusted any of the options, so I do apologise for any of the sound. If it's too, the music's too loud or anything like that. I will adjust that at some point. But, uh, let's see what this is like. Feels good, actually, on the controller. And we will be switching from using the controller and the steering wheel. Because this game is... It's best. It's pretty good on both, I would say. Well, the, the previous game was. So, so we've managed to move up to fifth. Let's just try and catch up the leaders. And if we can get a victory here, I mean, I'm not sure what uh, level it's set on, but I will adjust that at some point. And slamming on the brakes. Feeling very responsive on the controller. Getting loads of feedback from the triggers as well, which is always good. And so far, it's not too bad up to second. So it definitely looks like we're going to probably have to up the level. It's probably on the standard level it starts on. If I remember last time I played grid, it starts on, what, 75, 80%. So we will adjust that in the inside. There's a good manoeuvre. Uh, this, these cars are very, very grippy anyway. So change the camera angle angle into the uh, cockpit view and uh, that is it so I think we're coming up to the finish line so that was a really good first experience literally jumping in mid-race and achieving the goal so there we go uh, literally you didn't have front the front of the car was missing but uh, yeah welcome to uh, grid legends on the channel guys uh, we've got obviously Gran Turismo 7 coming very soon loads of racing so oh it's given the option to continue the story or play current season um, I think I might carry on playing the current season, I think. New team, new season and see, and a new challenge and you can rise to the top of the Grid World Series. That sounds uh, very appealing to me. So let's select that and we're going to start, let's put it on hard and we'll move it up as we go through. Right, so this is Driven to Glory. Um, I will, at the end of the video, check through all the other game modes, but we're going to carry on with the story for today's episode. I'm not going to make it too long. I'm so busy today. I just literally slammed the game in, 
And uh, yeah, just wanted to play some today, but really looking forward to doing a pretty good series on this game on the channel. So I'm, I hope you stay tuned because I think there's going to be a lot from this game because it is very, very good fun to play. From what I've seen, the reviews have been really good as well. So let's get straight into this. I think there's going to be a lot of, uh, obviously, interviews and stories in this mode, which is always good. Uh, this is what I like about Grid. So let's get straight into this. And that's Raven West, Nathan McCain and Laura Carvalho leading the charge here at Strada Alpina. Tanaka spots a gap. It's all or nothing. Contact. In a situation like this, all you can do is hope that the drivers are all okay. It's on? Yeah? Okay. My name is Marcus Adol and I'm the team principal for Seneca Racing. Hey, gorgeous. No, 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 no. We uh, have that um, dinner with the board of directors tomorrow. Uh huh. Some people are born into racing. I had to work for it. My parents run a Nigerian restaurant in South London. And for them, success was never about fancy dishes or expensive ingredients. It was about believing in who they hired and always striving to grow. And I got a chance to run my own racing team. Took the same approach. Money too. Hey, there she is. In case you live under a rock, this is Yume Tanaka, racing legend. I got a sec to talk about the new braking system. Sure. Marcus Ado is something of a prodigy. He was only 25 when he convinced Seneca's board to start investing in unknown drivers and to hire him to run the team. He has the maturity of someone twice his age, and that's gained him enormous respect. The only problem is his approach hasn't worked. Last year, his number two driver set a record for the most last place finishes in a single season. This year's replacement performed so poorly in pre-season trials that he quit before the first race. Is it an embarrassment? No. You have to see the bigger picture. Finding a great recipe involves experimentation. Sure, we had a few rough years, but once we succeed, and I really believe we're going to, we may well become the best team on the grid. But for now, what? Season starts in three days, you're down a driver. <sighs> Guess I'll have to find a new driver. Right, so we're going to get chucked straight into another event. So this is in London, the 17th of February 2020, which was just before we went into the global pandemic, which was around March of that year. Everyone's got a story to tell about that period, um, something that we probably won't forget. But anyway, let's jump straight into this event. Um, like I said, I'm on the steering wheel now, the Frostmaster T300 RS. Let's see what it's like on the wheel. Uh, but I must admit, just that um, brief uh, moment on the control, it felt pretty good. So I'm... I'm really pleased about that but uh, let's see where we are in this race and then we will bump up the level a bit more um let's see what sort of vehicle we get to use now and uh these are probably more my type of vehicle so and i like the open wheels on this game as well so hopefully we get a, a chance to have a go at one of them and off we go let's see uh, what it's like i haven't adjusted the force feedback or any of the settings i've literally just plugged the wheel in so it's on the uh, default settings tight corner and that feels okay and uh, obviously we will start adjusting obviously the assists and stuff once we get to the, the hang of the game learn some of the circuits and we need to finish ahead of a particular driver which we've already overtaken so we've already sort of got the objective out the way if we can just keep him behind us let's just quickly flick through the uh, just working out what buttons because I haven't obviously mapped the buttons on the steering wheel but it feels pretty good. Uh, this is not as strong as I'd like it, so I might, might just up the uh, force feedback a little bit, but it feels pretty decent. And yes, it's just it's so good to be back on the wheel. I mean, that first um, attempt on the new uh, set of course at Competition on the PS5 was just, it was absolutely awesome. I've played quite a few hours. I've got some more gameplay coming from that game. Yeah, it's just really good to be back on the wheel. And obviously, we've, oh, bloody hell. Oh, there's been an accident. God, that was, I couldn't get the brakes on hard enough there to stop. So we've got a little bit of damage. I think damage is on. Um, I don't know whether it's on enough to obviously affect the car. And that 
it's not too bad around that turn so this is quite a short circuit in London and let's see if we can get past these two and going in tight just trying to hold that position and again gone on the outside and we've managed to get in the lead so we definitely need to up the level but it's uh, just getting the grips of the game it does feel very good on the wheel and I must admit the first grid was really good on the wheel as well I played quite a lot on that game really enjoyed it I didn't get to finish my career walk through which I was a bit disappointed about but uh, yeah let's not uh, go back over old ground let's just keep moving forward let's just try and finish off this lap and I will put it on a hard level and uh, see what challenge comes up next but I will, like I said at the end of the video, go through all the different game modes because there is quite a few different ones on, the, on this year's game. There's more variety of vehicles. But we will be flitting between this game and uh, obviously Gran Turismo 7, uh, which is just literally days away. I cannot wait. Also, guys, if you are going to get Gran Turismo 7, let me know because I will be doing some online lobbies. Just having a bit of fun early on when we get the game where we can uh, show what cars we've got. I mean, I'm going to do a lot of the career, so it's probably uh, a best way to build up a, uh, a massive library of cars. But, uh, yeah, we can share some tips and stuff like that. So let me know. And that is the end of that race. So we definitely need to up the level. Um because that was pretty easy towards the end but feels really good on the wheel very very happy about that because uh, they said they had improved that on the on this year's game and it definitely feels much better right let's get into the next challenge right. nice today. I definitely think we could have improved on that uh, on that time around there that's got a nice little circuit and uh, yeah in the old Audi RS3 LMS I love touring cars. I used to I used to watch the touring cars all the time when I was younger. Absolutely love it. Really fun to watch. Right, so we're getting thrown into some open wheel racing uh, back in London on the 18th of February 2020. And I absolutely love these sort of cars. They're like the Formula rookies on uh, project cars, which I absolutely used to love. Uh, you can chuck them into corners. I mean, they do have... Um, they do slide a lot. And if I remember on uh, the last good game... They were really, really good, and you do get a lot of crashes as well in these races. So um, let's just check the camera views. Uh, I think we're going to go in the cockpit view for this, and we've got to finish higher than eighth position. So we're starting in 12th. Let's see if we can improve on that, and let's be careful. If I remember rightly, uh, watching a few other people play these. Uh, oh, bloody hell. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Bit of damage at the front. Yeah, it's a bit slippery on the old kerb, so let's try and stay away from the kerbs if we can. Just trying to weave our way through. We're going to be faster than the back markers. We want to try and get to, closer to the front. Uh, I don't think this is a... Oh, bloody hell, I'm getting really clumped up here. I don't think this is going to be a race that I'm going to be able to win in this amount of laps. But let's see if we can at least get to, into the top five. That will be a challenge. Right, going up the inside good on the brakes feeling really good on the steering wheel as well We're trying to stay away from those curbs Let's see if we can just snip up the inside try not to put my foot down while we're on the curbs and that is the first lap out of the way so this is uh, another short circuit okay. and, the, and we're only up to sixth so good I said fifth freaking out took that one a bit wide I really do feel the curbs as well which is good and again yeah they really do slide through there let's see if we can pick it up on this second lap let's try and go up the inside no got blocked off <laughs> it definitely knew I was coming but let's just hold that position let's try and stay side by side and we're trying to hold yes I think we've made that position so we're up to fifth and we're getting closer we might be, be able to get into the top three as we go up the inside again and we're up to P4 don't think we're going to catch a, the leader as we're coming to the final lap. Just, oh my god, really had to slam the brakes on there. And we go into the final lap. Let's see if we can just ruffle a few feathers here. And again, just getting really tight on the curb. Just backing off the uh, the accelerator on the curbs, making sure that we don't slide out. And loads of 
Paddy Tarr smoke from the two in front and we held that position nicely up to P3 and this is a position that I would be happy to finish in. We only had to get top eight and again that was nicely taken that corner and we're going to take second. Oh coming towards the end of the race. I don't think we're going to catch the leader but uh, we'll try and stay and get in close to him if we can. And come into the final corners and oh he spun out oh we just caught his wheel but we've managed to overtake him did you see that he slammed his brakes on span out and that is how easy you can lose control on this he might have even just got a bit of a curb and it span him up but anyway we're going to take advantage of that we're going to take the win but there you go <laughs> I'm actually surprised but um, we only needed to get eight or higher and we take first but uh, that was on expert so I think we're just going to stick it on legend because um, we're going to want the challenge anyway but yeah that was really really good fun now we're going to jump in to see what's next in this uh, story mode and I will I did want to run through some of the obviously to show you what is on off on this game as well in this first video first experience but overall I'm very very impressed um, but I, I'm easily satisfied to be honest I just love anything that uh, obviously you can have fun with not too difficult to uh, control I mean obviously grid is going to be much easier and it's going to aim at uh, a wider audience should we say uh, that like racing games it's not too serious I mean nothing like a set of course so let's put that out there or anything like a proper sim but it is still so much fun to play and it gives you such a good variety but anyway let's get into the next stage right so in the next video obviously we move on to in the story mode is the new beginnings and we will try and uh work through a few of these and like i said this is going to be i'm going to do a, a bit of a walkthrough on this game and like like i said when gran turismo 7 we're just going to be flitting between the two so there's going to be loads of videos and plus like i said i've got some stuff from a set of courses to come as well so yeah it's going to be a very very interesting um i I am going to try and be a little bit more consistent. Um, I have got a busy weekend, so I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to get out on this uh, game over the weekend. I will try and maybe to get one more video, but next week I will try and get quite a few videos out so we can get right into it. And I will obviously try out a few other the game modes, uh, to test out a few cars, uh, look, at, look at how many circuits we've got on offer, because there is quite a few, I think. Uh, but first up, um, just just before I go that's quickly run through all the different options that we've got on this game um, for you to enjoy so let's have a look at that so if you look on the top of the screen so you've got um, obviously the home story is the mode that we're in now and obviously you have got right so let's have a look at all the different options so this is the home screen and you can log into RaceNet. You've got all the different like challenges. You can start quick races, etc. Let's just quickly move on, close that down. So these are all the different uh, things you can start in straight off the home screen. Then obviously you've got the story mode, which we are doing at the moment. Then you've got career. Obviously you start as a rookie, semi-pro, and you can work all the way to the top, which is good. You've got the socials. You've got all the uh, online, all the different sessions. Obviously, then you've got a race director, so you can uh, obviously set up your own stuff on that. You've got your garage. Obviously, we will be looking into that, all the different vehicles and building up the garage. Then you have got your team. You can set up your own team and obviously all the options are there. And obviously, you've got options. So, yeah, there's loads of different sections you can start in. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I know it's not that too long, but I will try my best to get another episode up. Thank you so much for watching. Please smash the like button, and I will see you very, very soon.